Here's a walk around of my 2013 V-Rod Night Rod Special. So that's V-Rod Night Rod Special VRSCDX Harley Davidson. So I'll give you guys a walk around first and then I will just list the mods I've done to this. And um, yeah, just a few related things about the bike. That should be good to go. Definitely a must have bike, I would say. If uh, you're getting away from sports bike and um, you're getting to something else, this is probably must have. Um, I've been into sports bike before, um, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to leave that. But um, I found this and I don't regret it. So, all right, let's, uh, let's get to it. Uh, things I've done so far. Um, the fender eliminator kit. Uh, I've switched my Lexus plate uh, along with the LED at the, uh, on the side. Um, small turn signals, LEDs. Uh, the biggest thing probably I've done on this bike so far is uh, my luggage bar, uh, luggage uh, carrier. So the, the, the couple I bought it from uh, had a sissy bar as well as luggage carrier. And uh, as you guys know, the Harley Davidson luggage carrier with the sissy bar comes in chrome, uh, which looks pretty ugly. Um, I, I wanted to get rid of it completely, but the person who installed this, uh, they had uh, made six holes instead of three holes um, because they screwed up somehow. So I was left with six holes on my rear fairing, which I wasn't happy with and I didn't want to go after market because um, you know because I love my paint and I didn't want to do anything with it um, so I came up with the idea to paint it matte black myself so I painted matte black and at this point uh, the thing I used to hate the most is probably one of my best features of my bike because it just looks part of the bike being you know matte black so it looks part of the back seat so if you guys come across with something uh you know you bought a bike and somebody had um, the luggage carrier and you couldn't really take it off i would recommend you just paint it um all right next uh one of the another biggest uh mod of my bike is the custom leds um so it's got only 10,000 kilometers on it. I don't know if I'm not sure you can see it, but there it is. It's uh, orange with a um, white uh, background LED. So if you can see that, here it is. Beautiful LED, especially at night. It's so bright. Um, next thing is. Uh, the front headlight, which is all smoked LED, uh, looks badass. Um, also, uh, the the drag bar handlebars changes the ride completely. Uh, when I switched to this, um, at first I, I couldn't believe it was my same bike which I was riding, and um, I, I think it's a must-have too. The next thing is uh, very, very, very important for V-Rod, uh, Night Rod um, uh, riders is space. Because there is no space in this bike at all. So to fill up the gas, you need to do this, but there is no space at all. Literally, there is no space. So I had to place an order for my V-Rod, Night Rod frame bag. That's exactly what it's called very 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 handy I couldn't emphasize more uh, very handy a must have so you can at least have your cell phone your key your ownership and you know insurance blah blah whatever also this has extended um, rear pegs 
for the passenger. Um, I've also installed Avon 250s at the back and then um, Avon uh, 19 inch in the front. That's a standard one, whatever the front is. But this one is a Avon Cobra Chrome uh, 250. So what I've read online and stuff, and it actually does look uh, bigger than a Metzler 260. So if you were to, you know, get into that debate, what should you do? Uh, my recommendation would be a uh, Avon 250. Um, it rides smooth, it rides perfect. Uh, I don't have any complaints. Um, very, very nice ride. Um, and yeah, that's about it. And also one last thing. Um, for the passenger, I do have a hydraulic rear seat. So just for your passenger to be more comfortable and then to get rid of the ear is um, you just press this and that, that takes it down and I've also got the grips changed when I was changing the drag bars one thing I should definitely mention if you're touching any screw in a v-rod especially I don't know about any other cruisers make sure make sure make sure you guys use the loctite for every single screw you guys use or touch it or unbolt it just because it will there's so much vibration that it will um, loosen off and it will fall off before you know it so once again make sure you guys use loctite because that's a must-have for one of these bikes and uh, yeah here it is um, if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to ask let me know I will try to answer anything I could I've done every single thing uh, myself so if you guys do have any questions um, I can always answer uh, I had this bike uh, like completely um, you know apart and uh, I had to buff it out I had to uh, wax it, uh, wet sand it and stuff to bring it to the condition it is right now. And the paint is called uh, Amber Sun Glow uh, because it changes colors. Um, at night uh, you'll see flakes or during the day when there's uh, sunlight. Other than that you will only see um, I would say like a, like a red color that that's all you'll see. Um, but yeah there you have it uh, like i said if you guys have any questions uh don't hesitate to ask and i'll try to answer anything i could and uh yeah take care see you guys later bye